So there are three phases in the data dialogue process that has been uh, designed by Wellman and Lipton. The first phase is the activate and engage phase. And in this particular piece of, of the protocol, what you're really trying to do is engage all of the participants and get them ready, prepare them emotionally for looking at the data that they're going to see. So there's a lot of um, predictions and assumptions about the data, which you talk about in this phase without actually looking at the data. And uh, many, many times people who are around the table have some biases as to why that data exists. This gives them an opportunity to get those biases and assumptions kind of off their chest, get them, get them recorded so that we can kind of put them there and lay them to rest so that we can look at the data objectively. So in phase one, a couple of pieces are really important if you're facilitating this phase. The first one is to establish some group norms and to establish some group dynamics to make sure that everybody around the table is comfortable, they understand what's going to happen during the course of the three phases of the data dialogue and that they know what their role is. Um, then most importantly, you want to uh, provide an example, a blank example, uh, of what that data that you're going to present might look like. So for example, if I'm using student achievement data, I may present a blank graph uh, where I ask teachers and administrators to predict uh, proficiency levels on a particular exam in a, in a particular year. Um, and so they're looking at the template in which I'm going to present the actual data and it's blank to begin with and then we ask them to make some predictions uh, and then we can flesh out some assumptions about that data in phase one. You know you've arrived at what you're, what you're attempting to do in phase one when you, make two, you have two accomplishments. The first one is that you make sure that everybody that's engaged in the work understands the graphics that you're going to be using in phase two. And so phase one, when they're predicting and putting their own data points on those particular representations, really helps you under, make sure that everybody understands uh, that, that graphic that you're going to use later. And secondly, and probably most importantly, is you're preparing a safe environment where um, folks are able to really look at the data. Uh, some of it's not good data, some of it is, is great, but there's always you know, you choose data for a reason and you're choosing data which talks about and highlights some problems. So you've got to prepare folks emotionally to be able to uh, look at that data objectively. So those two, those two are your primary objectives for phase one.